I'm Robin Higgins, and this is an explanation of why the radius of an atom cannot be measured. All right, so this is definitely an important question to understand conceptually. So just to review, let's draw a typical uh, nucleus of an atom. So let's just say it has a bunch of protons and neutrons stuck in there. And then we have, going around in our traditional model, a bunch of electrons and we have different orbitals, so different levels of electrons. So with this model, it may be kind of confusing of why we can't simply just measure the radius and then report on that. And so it's important to know what we're actually talking about. So remember that an electron acts as both a particle, so what we draw it as, and also a wave. And so it's important to know that you can never actually measure exactly where an electron is. At, at any given time. And so what we have uh, when we actually draw atoms is more like our nucleus. And then you'll see people draw it as an electron cloud. And so that's more like this. So you can see that the electrons are moving so fast that we really can't draw it. Even this, of course, is not what it looks like. Um, it's just a complete haze. And so, uh, first of all, it'd be hard to measure a cloud. And so, uh, while we may be able to kind of look at a cloud and know generally how big it is, and we do know how big generally atoms are, uh, there's no way to know specifically because when would you even decide that it ended? You know, does it end here? Does it end here? Does it end here? Is there something we can't see a little bit past in that? Um, and then the second thing to remember is that even this electron cloud is just based on statistics. Which means that if you look into just a little tiny cross section of a, sp of a specific part of an atom or electron cloud, you'll find maybe that the atom, at that moment, the electron cloud has a 0.000001% chance of being in this exact location. And then you add up all of the different percentages around here, and then you eventually model all your data to make an electron cloud. So basically, the reason that you can't measure the radius of an atom is because the radius is mostly determined by the electron, and the electron is very mysterious. Remember that it all involves learning quantum mechanics. Which is very difficult math. Extremely difficult. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Why Can't the Radius of an Atom Be Directly Measured? Mm -hmm.